Hey guys, it's Jennifer back with recording some more videos today. This next one is going to be about five purchases. Um, I think these were all purchases. I don't think there was any gifts in here. Yeah, five purchases that I made in 2022 that really surprised me. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> All right, so the first one's gonna be shocking, and that is shoes from Aldi. Yeah, Aldi, as in the grocery store. Um, if you are in the Facebook group, Isle of Shame, or that used to be called the Aldi Nerds, people have been raving about Aldi shoes, and I picked up three pairs this past year, and I see why. They're so cheap, and they're so fantastic. So the first pair that I wanna show you guys uh, are these boots that I got, and they are just your basic uh, you know, brown, beige, tannish boots, but they're very casual. Um, I like these least of all. These are, and I will say, uh, I think the smallest sizes they come in are a seven. That's the smallest I've ever been able to find. I wear a six and a half. So these are all just a bit too big for me, but I make them work because they were all also like $15 or under. So yeah, whatever. Um, but these are my least favorite. They're the least comfortable just because this is rigid and this is rigid. And sometimes after wearing them for a while, my ankle um, starts to get a bit sore, but I still wear them. It's not like they're terribly uncomfortable. They're fine. Um, and they're really cute, but they're just not my favorite that I purchased from them. Um, so then these, these might be my favorite. I'm not sure, but oh my gosh, these boots, guys, I think these were 15 bucks. I love these boots so, so, so much. I adore these. So they've got like this Dalmatian print. They're a nice pointy toe, um, they've got a zipper and then they have a little bit of an open side. I, these are, these are great. These are so great. I love them. I love the heel on these. They're chunky and cute. These look so good in jeans. Oh my gosh. Like I just, I've gotten so many compliments when I've worn these. They were for Aldi, from Aldi for less than like 15 bucks. That's crazy. All right. And then finally, the last shoes that I got also love, um, and that's these boots. These are all boots, by the way. Um, I don't think, I think I... I don't think I've purchased anything else from Aldi in times past shoes wise. I was trying to think, did I ever get a pair of flats or anything? But I don't think so. I think that I've only purchased the boots this year. Um, but anyway, they look like this. They're so cute. So they have a wedge, which is adorable. They have this like uh, sweatshirt material and like this faux zipper. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Apparently these are supposed to look like some higher end boots. I'm not going to mention that though, because I don't want to get in trouble, but um, I love these. 15 bucks. Oh my gosh. And they're so, look at the top. Like, they're just so cute. I love these with skinny jeans and, like, a sweatshirt. It just takes it from, like, looking super casual to just a step up. And, again, they were from Aldi, and they were less than $15. Like, I just can't with that. It's amazing. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about, um, I've referenced this before on my channel. This is Casey, Casey Wilson, uh, who I will link her channel down below. She talked about this, and I had to get one. And this is the Renfo um eye facial massager so i got this last year to help with migraines and this is fantastic my sister's also since purchased one um basically it uses heat vibration and pressure to just like gently massage uh sorry about that my ac just kicked on but or heat rather um but just to gently massage the eyes the orbital area and if you are a person with migraines i do get migraines about every month once a month um this is such a life changer 15 minutes and honestly it makes such a world of difference it helps with nausea if you get nausea from your migraines so i'll link it down below from amazon they have tons of different kinds this is the one that i got i think it was pretty much the basic model um when this if this ever dies wears out i'll purchase another one in a second because this was so worth it to me all right the next thing i want to talk about um is salt new york so everybody was talking about salt last year and i wanted to finally try salt and I did, and I love, love, love their products. So I have some eyeshadows in here. I probably should have cleaned them out before the video, but I just got done traveling and I took this with me. So ignore the eyeshadows that I have in here. They're just some some neutral neutrals. Um, all right, so this is two blushes. This is a bronzer, a highlight, and their um, foundation balm, which looks pretty worse for wear, honestly, right now. But I love these so, 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 so much. So. The foundation bomb's my least favorite thing. I don't know that I would purchase that again just because you really have to build it up. It is very light coverage. I like a bit more medium coverage. The color is perfect for me. It's one of the fairest, if not the fairest color they make. It's gonna be great in the summertime, but of all the products, um, I think that one is my least favorite. 
The highlight would probably be my next least favorite, and I do like the highlight. I think it's very beautiful, um, but I just honestly prefer a powder highlight formula. I think I just put that literally right on top of the foundation balm. Why would I do that? Um, anyway, it is pretty, but it's not, it's not glowy, glowy, glowy enough for me. I like a little bit extra. Now, you can use that, which is what I do, and put a uh, powder highlight on top of it, and then you will glow, um, but... I still love the formula. Now the blush and the bronzers, I, I think I will always purchase. So the bronzer, I would like a, a different color probably in the future, uh, but it is really, really easy to use. It blends out like an absolute dream. It's just a little bit warm for me, and I think I would prefer one of their cooler toned bronzers, um, but there it is. It's so easy to use and it's so pretty. The blushes, ah, oh, they're so nice. Now you can use these as lip products as well. Um, I have only used them as blushes, but I have this cool toned mauve and this a little bit spicier um, pink and it's more like a coral than it is a pink, but it does have sort of a pink base, but they're so easy to use guys. Like you just put a little bit on and it just blends in so easily. So this summer I wore the heck out of these. I will use these again this summer. Again, I've been overall just incredibly impressed, impressed, impressed by this formula and I will be purchasing again. So yeah, Salt New York was a definite win for me. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk about are some perfumes that I found at Target. Um, Lauren May was where I heard of these perfumes from and I think I got them on sale. I think they're 20 bucks each and I got them for like 15 each when I purchased them. Um, you can mix them and you can layer them with honestly anything and they last a really long time. So I was kind of shocked. So these are called Mix Bar and I have the Vanilla Bourbon number nine and the Whipped Almond number 14. And honestly, as layering perfumes, I think Target knocked it out of the park here. Um, the, the bottles are nice, very pretty. The Vanilla Bourbon, it smells like the cleanest vanilla with some complexity. So I really do like, let's, let's just go ahead and give a little spray. <sighs> I, I can smell the, the bourbon base. I can smell the vanilla. Ooh, <sighs> it smells rich. It smells rich, looks, and amazing. And like I said, it does last for a while and they're excellent for layering. So the almond uh, was probably my favorite that I purchased of the two just because it is so, so pretty. Let's go ahead and give this one a spray. I'm gonna layer it too on top of this vanilla. Yeah. That is just, uh, that is like all the desserts at Christmas. Anyway, together, I mean, it smells beautiful. It smells like a, a very beautiful, rich, luxurious fragrance that I can't believe costs less than $40 for both of them or cost about $40 for both of them and they came from Target. They're really, really, really good. Um, so I, I have only used them a couple times. I'm still playing with them. I'll still continue to rate and review. But so far, I'm very impressed with them. All right, finally, the last thing that was my surprise purchase of 2022. Uh, it's probably not going to be a surprise to you guys because you've heard me talk about it before, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow formula. So I got this little gem, the Smokey Eyes of Forever palette, in my Lucky box uh, last year, and I had ordered the Bella Sophia uh, during Beautylish's winter sale last year, or the year before, like the, the December 2021 period. I had never really tried the Charlotte Tilbury formula, and I have since then... Uh, grown my collection by four others. So I now have uh, six eyeshadow, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. See, the formula is just, I find it so incredibly easy to use. It's so forgiving on the eye. It doesn't emphasize texture. It's just easy. And I, I usually follow her little do this step one, two, three. I don't get too adventurous with it. Beautiful. And I also have one of her um, pop shots, the Emerald Eyes one that she came out with this year, which is also like Honestly, like, I, I'm kind of surprised at what a great formula that is. It's incredible. And yeah, they're expensive. And I don't know that it's worth that price, but they are really good. But her formula, it's just changed me. Like, it's changed my relationship with Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it wasn't a brand that I ever really cared anything about. And now I'm just like, give me all the things because the eyeshadow formula has been so convincing and so good. So yeah, so those are the things, the purchases in 2022 that I got that surprised the heck out of me and that I have fallen in love with. So I'd love to know what you found in 2022 that was amazing. Let us know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye.